Buenas noches, ¿cómo están? Hola, hola, hola. ¿Cómo están? ¿Me escuchan o están todos en mute? Great. Ah, ok. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Y qué tal los trató el, el sismo? ¿Nos asustaron? Poquito. Poquito. Fue fatal. Sí, fue bien fuerte. Sí. Lilian dicen que va a estar de oyente. Vaya, los demás, si tienen la cámara, enciéndanla, ok. Sí, se, escuchó, se, se sintió bien fuerte, la verdad. Pero, bueno, gracias a Dios acá, pues, hasta lo que logré ver, no, no hubo daño en la casa. Espero que donde ustedes tampoco, ni a los vecinos, ¿verdad? Porque sí cuesta, cuesta hacer las cosas. Bueno, pero como dicen ahí, lo material se recupera. Yo no lo sentí. ¿No sintió? No, no sentí el temblor. ¿A dónde estaba? que no sintió? Sí, o eh, venía manejando eh, quizá. No, en el bus. Ah, pues sí. No, hombre, si eso que por fue. eso no. He estado eso viendo algunos videos de que estuvo fue fuerte. Bien fuerte. Fue casi seis. Sí, de 6.8. Ya, imagínense, dicen que ya llegando de 7 para en adelante ya es terremoto. Yo no lo sentí tan fuerte. Sí, fue súper fuerte. Si aquí ya está. Sí, pero no lo sentí fuerte. Se Por eso que no me asustó. Uh -huh. Vaya, vamos a iniciar y vamos a continuar con el tema de ayer. ¿Se recuerda cuál, cuál era nuestro tema? Simple pass. Simple pass. Simple pass. Negative. Ok. Positive, Simple. negative, uh -huh. positive questions negative. and short answers. That was our topic from yesterday. Right. Now, uh, I want you, because we are going to focus on the just no questions. Ok. I'm going to type, I'm going to type on the chat the structure that you are going to use to ask questions to your classmates. Okay, so the, the structure will be, did you and the verb needs to be in base form. Okay, did you play yesterday? Did you play soccer yesterday? Remember the past time expressions. First of all, Let's remember all the past time expressions that you remember. Uh huh. Can you give me the examples of past time expressions? Last, last, um, last weekend. Year. Last, last weekend. Last year. Just last that month. month. Last month. Yesterday. Uh huh. <laughs> Last week. Two hours ago. Two hours ago. Last month, creo que es. Last month, yes. What else? <laughs> What else do you remember? If you're not using the microphone, turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. Uh-huh. What else do you remember for task? I mean, past time expressions. 10 minutes ago. Okay, 10 minutes ago. Minutes ago. The day before Yest yesterday. Yesterday. Uh huh. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Okay. Yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon. Great. A year ago. A year ago. Okay. Now, we're going to use this expression. Did you play soccer yesterday? This is going to be the, um, the structure. 
This I is did. going to be the structure that we're going to use to ask questions to your classmates, okay? Now, let's see, Amalia, select one of your classmates, ask a yes, no question. Verosli? Uh, okay. Hello? Uh, did you, did you, last night, the shopping? No. No. Do you go shopping last uh, night? Do you, do you go shopping last night? Mm -hmm. Yesterday. No. Do no. you go shopping last night? Last night is the past the past time expression. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, did, one more time. Did you go? Mm-hmm. Last night, the no. shopping. No. Mm -mm. no. Okay, remember the structure. We had the structure. Subject plus verb plus, I'm sorry. For question would no. be Subject auxiliary verb. Did. Plus subject plus did, verb. Did you, ah, okay, did you go. Plus past time expression, past time. Time. expression plus complement that's the, the structure do you go shopping did you last go shopping? night uh -huh. to the mall did you did you okay but also did you go shopping last night did you go yes Yes, what? Uh, yes, I did. Thank you. Remember, yes. if you are going to answer with a positive or if your answer will be positive, you are going to say, yes, yes. I, yes did. I did. If your answer is negative, you're going to say, yes, no, I, I didn't. didn't. Mm -hmm. Clear? But Osley, yes. select one of your classmates. Yes. Ask a question. Um, Nelson. Sleep. Nelson? Hi. Tell Hi. Me. Good evening. Good evening. Do you work? Do you work last weekend? Sorry, no puedo escuchar. Se, se escucha como entrecortado. Did Hello? you work last weekend? Did you work last weekend? No, I did. No, I didn't. No, no I didn't, perdón. Nelson, select one of your classmates, Thanks. please. Leticia. Leticia? Hello. Hola. Did, did you did you cut did you cut trellas trellas Monday? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Alexandra, select one of your classmates, please. Edwin, select one of your classmates. Yes. Uh, Marcos? Select another one. Uh, Claudia? Claudia Carolina? Yes. Yes, Claudia. Uh, did you brush? your teeth 
this morning? Did you brush your teeth this morning? Didn't. Okay. Uh, Erica, select one of your classmates. Yo hago la pregunta, ¿verdad? Yes. Erika, uh, did you, did you, ¿cómo se dice frog? From, 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 ¿cómo dice? ¿Cómo tú dices? ¿Qué quiere decir? Sí. Do you phone? Uh -huh. Did you front? No sé qué quiere decir. ¿Qué quiere decir en español? No lo entiendo. Ok, dígamelo en español, le voy a ayudar en inglés. Ay, no sé cómo. Ok, don't worry, let's listen to other examples. Tiffany, select one of your classmates, please. Tiffany? Milena? Chicos, ¿me escuchan? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Vaya, pareciera que no están conectados o están, están en las redes sociales. Estamos en clases, una hora de clases. Tienen que tener su cámara encendida. Si eh, tienen algún inconveniente, por favor, háganlo saber. Porque menciono sus nombres y no participan. La participación es bien importante. Recuerden que todas las clases son grabadas. Entonces, y tenemos personas que las están observando y nos están monitoreando. Entonces, si usted solo se conecta y no participa, van a decir qué ha pasado con la clase. Tengo eh, 23 personas conectadas y de esas personas solo hay pocos con las cámaras encendidas y participando. Por favor pongamos atención porque el, el pasado simple es bien tedioso. Tanto para el que enseña como para el que lo está aprendiendo. Son bastantes cosas que hay que ponerle atención. Es el tema, uno de los temas que más cuesta en inglés. Y si usted le pone atención, participa. Y si aprende todo, le va a entender y va a ser muy fácil. Pero si no le pone atención y no participa, algo fácil lo va a sentir difícil. Así que, por favor, pongamos de nuestra parte, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok. Ok, Let, okay teacher. Let's continue. Um, we, are going to, we are going to continue with... Oh, Marcos, do you have an example or would you like to participate? Sí, gracias, eh, teacher. Yes. Este, sí, este, quería apoyar un poquito brevemente ahí este, con la cuestión de la participación. Eh, okay. En algunos momentos, teacher, lo que sucede es que la conexión está mala, no se escucha bien o se retarda, ¿verdad? La reverberancia del internet. Mm -hmm. Entonces, pues, a veces no logro escuchar, por ejemplo, eh, mm -hmm. cuando me llamo y pues ya logra pasar el espacio, ¿verdad? No, porque no se pone atención. Eh, tal vez un poquito de paciencia en ese aspecto, porque creo que todos tenemos dificultades en algún momento con el Internet uh -huh. o con alguna situación eh, que tenga que ver con, con las redes, ¿verdad? En este okay. caso el micrófono. Gracias. Ok, 
Perfecto. Sí, como les mencionaba, desde un principio de la primera clase, si tienen algún inconveniente con el internet, háganlo saber en el chat. Así va a saber que no es porque no quieren participar o no es porque no están escuchando, sino porque están teniendo algún inconveniente. Tenemos dos chats. Tenemos el chat de Zoom y tenemos el chat de WhatsApp. ¿Ok? Creo que con la comunicación es bien importante. Si ustedes no me lo hacen saber, ahorita usted ya me lo hizo saber. saber. Entonces yo voy a, a la siguiente participación. Si se tarda, yo voy a saber qué es porque ha tenido algún inconveniente. Pero si no me lo hacen saber, yo voy a pensar de que estoy hablando y simplemente no me están poniendo atención. ¿Ok? Entonces tenemos que tener comunicación por ambas partes. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, ok, gracias. Ok. okay. Bueno. Ok, let's continue. Um, yesterday, we were eh, studying some rules. Rules for regular verbs. And we were applying some rules, right? The first rule, what happened if, uh, let's see, the verb ends with letter Y? What do we do? Uh, y for I E D. Yes, we uh, delete or we change the letter Y and we're going to add I E D. What happened if the verb ends in, uh, let's see, S H? What are we going to do? If the bird ends in SH, like wash, like crash, what are we going to do? Add ED. We are going to add ED. Exactly. And what happens if the bird ends in consonant, vowel consonant? Mm -hmm. To please the last um, consonant. Okay. A we are e D. Exactly. We are going to duplicate the last consonant and we are going to add ED. Okay. Excellent. Like stop. We're going to say stop. <clears throat> okay. Beside, beside the rules, I was giving you some other explanation related to the ed ending okay the pronunciation because we have rules for um regular verbs but we also have rules for pronunciation so we have a list of verbs and i brought some examples over here can you see my computer's screen Pueden ver la pantalla? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, we have the first rule. If uh we had the the rule with pronunciation. La pronunciación de la T es bien importante. <laughs> If the verb ends in letter K, S H, okay? Uh T H Letter S, okay, letter P, letter X, okay. We are going to pronounce the ED ending, ED ending, as. ¿Quiénes han escuchado los frenos de un camión? Fre o los frenos de aire. <laughs> Los frenos de aire, cuando ellos frenan, no sé si solo los camiones o los buses los tienen, pero en un carro normal nunca lo he visto. Pero los frenos de aire le hacen cuando frenan, ¿verdad? Y también cuando yeah. sacan el aire. Entonces, yo recuerdo cuando era estudiante y no podía pronunciar la T, pero como siempre viajaba en bus, algunos buses tenían ese freno de aire. Y escuché ese sonido que le hacía. 
cada vez que frenaba o, o, o jalaban la palanca para sacar el aire. Entonces, de esa forma empecé a practicar. Y cuando menos pensé, me salía el sonido. Entonces, este sonido va a ser baked. Baked. Miren, baked. Brushed. Si ustedes no dicen el, al final, el verbo no está en pasado. Y eso lo va a notar cualquiera que eh, sepa de inglés, sea docente o una persona de otro país. Si usted no dice el, va a decir esta persona necesita mejorar la pronunciación de los verbos. Pero si usted dice al final del verbo, entonces va a decir, oh, esta persona sí sabe. O por lo menos puede imitar. ¿Ok? All right. Now, I want to listen to some volunteers. ¿Ok? Amalia, read the first one. The first verb. Ask. Ask. Ajá. No se preocupen si, mal pron si no pronuncian bien. Uh, porque eh, eso es, se aprende con el tiempo. Okay? ¿Ok? A medida usted vaya preguntando, vaya practicando. Okay. Eh, este verbo es ast. Ast. Es como que elimine, como que eliminara. Mm. Si usted elimina el ed, pero si okay. lo dice normal, ask, y luego ask. Le agrega el ask. Ok. De hoy en adelante yo no quiero escuchar que digan ask it, porque no es ask it, es ask. 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 Ok. Continue, please. Arely. Bake it. No. Bake. 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 Bait. Ajá, él tiene que practicarlo. Bake. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Alexandra, next verb. Astrid. Teacher, voy manejando. Ah, okay. Eh, let's see. Next oh, no. person that would be. Berosli, continue. And then Liliana. Brush. 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 Liliana. Hooked. Hooked. Yes, Carlos. Next. Carlos. Marcos. Crocket. Crocked. Remember that you can raise your hands. Okay? Pueden levantar la mano. Uh, Edwin. Cross. Thank you. Next, eh, Elisa. Eh, from, from Frost. 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 Gabriel. Dressed. Thank you. Erika. Hi. Hi. I want. Yesenia. Uh, Yesenia. Skate. Eh, vamos por el dress. Yesenia, the next Drips. one. Drips. Dress. And then drop. Uh, continue. What? Erika. Escape. 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 Uh, Jenny, Lisette. Finished. 
Excellent. Eh, José, Alejandro. Leticia. Sí. Hello. Oh, okay. Leticia. Eh, fix. Alejandro, next. Marcos. Yes. 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 Guest. Liliana, yes, next. Help. Helped. Thank you. Leticia. Hoped. Hope. Nelson. Heaped. Hiked. Right. Okay. And we have the second pronunciation. Pronunciation number two. ED as letter D. If the verb ends in letter E, W, R, V for Victor, G, N, L, okay, S, R, okay. The, the the letter I mean the E the ending is going to be D D okay all right so and the first one Liliana allowed Agreed. I sorry, Tisha. Agreed. Thank you, Marcos. Um, allowed. Allowed, Liliana. Mm. Answered. Answered, Miriam. Weird. Nelson. Are we but? Appeared. 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 Liliana. Sorry. Liliana. Arrived. 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 Al principio le va, le va a parecer como exagerado. Pero a medida vayan practicando, se les va a hacer, se les va a hacer más fácil y van a sonar mm. más natural. Jenny. Believed. Oh, believed. Yes. Jenny. Beloved. Belonged. Belonged. The next. Brothered. Bothered. Bothered. Yes. Yesenia. Born. Borned. Born. 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 Milena. Miriam. Cold. Nelson. Carried. 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 Jenny. Changed. Changed. Okay. Jose Alejandro. Leticia. Clean. Thank you. Leticia. Yeah, close. Uh, closed. Closed. Liliana. Covered. Okay, Marcos. Right. right. Yes. I'm going to read the next one. Oh, Edwin, go. 
You can raise your hand. Puede levantar yes. la mano si quiere participar. Yes, teacher. Este, no, no, no entendí bien la pronunciación del... Creo que es cerrado, cerrado, no sé. Porque Ajá. veo que tiene una Z. Ok. Pero no sé si pronuncia primero la Z y después la D o es viceversa. Ajá. No alcancé a captarle eso. Ok. Es que miren, lo que pasa es que si se fijan, les expliqué acá que todos los verbos que terminan... Están viendo la rayita roja, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Ok, entonces dice que eh, según la regla de la pronunciación, si el verbo termina con S, la pronunciación del ED va a ser como, pero esta es una ex excepción. ¿Por qué? Porque si sí es cierto que termina con letra S, pero en este caso, para decir close, usted no dice close, usted dice Closed. Entonces, la S en este, en este verbo, que es excepción, se convierte en Z. ¿Y cómo se pronuncia la Z en inglés? Z. <risa> ¿Ok? Z. No se pronuncia como la S, sino que Z. Entonces, acá por eso está entre paréntesis. Entonces, cae en esta categoría. Y va a decir closed. Closed. No voy a decir closed. Porque oiga cómo se escucha. Closed. No tiene sentido, ¿verdad? Pero si usted dice closed. I closed the door yesterday. Ahí sí. Pero si usted dice I closed the door yesterday. No, ¿verdad? Si dice I closed. No tiene sentido. Clear. Okay, teacher. Okay. Now, let's continue. I'm going to read the other one. Si no, no vamos a avanzar. Pulled. Realized. Remembered. Drained. Repaired. Saved. Shared. Saved. Signed. Signed. Lambed. Lambed. Snowed, studied, tried, traveled. Okay. And we had the last pronunciation. E the ending as letter, I mean, the pronunciation of this E the ending is going to be Eid. ¿Por qué? Porque todos los verbos terminan con, los que terminan con letra, letra T o letra D, esa es la regla. La pronunciación va a ser id, accepted, afforded, attended, arrested, collected, contacted, counted, decided, defended, demanded, divided, ended. Okay. Expanded, expected, exported, fluted. Okay. Questions? Yeah. Siento que esa última más fácil. <laughs> Ajá. Para mí, el número uno es el más difícil porque es la sound. Number two, easy. Number three, even easier. Ajá. Ticias. Teacher. Yep. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, may I go to the bathroom? Go, go ahead. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Now, let's continue. Let's continue. Let me go ahead and check the time. Oh, we have enough time. I'm going to stop with the verbs. And we're going to move to the platform. Okay. We need to complete some exercises. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to continue with the irregular verbs because we have two types, regular and irregular verbs. And we need to practice the irregular verbs as well. Why is that so important? It's so important because in a real conversation, you need to know both 
verbs, okay, in order to express yourself. Because if, uh, if you want to use the verb write, describir, usted no va a decir write it. Correcto? ¿Cuál es el pasado de write? Right. Um, writing. 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 Don't invent. Wrote. Ajá. Wrote. It. Wrote. Write, wrote, written. Wrote. Ajá. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué es irregular? Porque el, el spelling cambia totalmente. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál es el mini spelling? Uh, la, el deletreo. ¿O cómo se escribe? Uh, ok. Ok. Deletreo. Yes. Uh, let's continue. It says here, I'm going to read it. Instructions. Change the verbs in parentheses to the past to complete the story. You don't need to type a period. It is already placed. Okay. Now, if you see, we are just using regular verbs. Okay. Change the verb in parentheses to the past to complete the story. Uh, I can see a hand raised. Arely, yes. Question. Uh, all pretty night, I wait, wait for phone call. Wait, solo se le agrega la E y la B, vea. Exactly. On Friday night, I waited, waited. Okay. Uh -huh. In the ending, it, waited. Waited. For a phone call. Okay. Continue. Can wait it? Espere. Um, yes, another volunteer. But my dear friend, but my dear friends, not did not call. Okay, remember, raise your hand. But my girlfriend did, did not call. did not call or did didn't call. 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 Okay. Okay. Another volunteer. Uh -huh. uh, on Saturday. Okay. Levantemos. Levantemos la mano sure. para que no se Le faltó de completarlo software. en la segunda. Did not call. Did not call. Sure. Ok. Did Thank you. Call. Vale, levantemos la mano para que no se escuche desorden. Jenny. I uh, just stayed home and watched TV. Watched. Watched. Ajá. Uh -huh. Watched. Marcos, continue. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, what? On Saturday, I visited, visited, visited. Meet my friend Frank. Visited, visited, visited my friend Frank. Okay, thank you. Next, volunteer. Edwin. Yes. We talk and listen to music. Listen to music. Listen. listen. Next. Volunteer. Raise your okay. hand. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, levanten la mano, pues. Cuts. Jenny. Um, es in the evening. Uh -huh. He invited some friends. He invited some friends over. And we cooked. Cooked. No, ¿cuál es la pronunciación de este? Ya no, ya no quiero que digan cooked. ¿Cuál es la pronunciación? Ajá. Cooked. 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 Uh -huh. 
Porque si, lo, si los escucha otro docente va a decir, el teacher Douglas no les enseñó y hasta les traje imágenes y todo. Ok. And we cooked a And great, cook a great meal. meal. Thank you. Ok, next. Volunteer. No work. I, I, did not work. <laughs> I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I didn't work. Ok. I did not work. Levanten la mano. Edwin. Quiero la voy a dejar esta Edwin. I didn't not study at, at all. I didn't study at all. I didn't study at all. At all. At all. At all. At all. I come back, teacher. Okay, thank you, Brosley. You can say, I didn't study at all. Así se escucha más, más nativo, más americano. I didn't study at mm -hmm. all. Pero hay unos dicen, I didn't study at all. Se escucha bien feo, ¿va? como que at all, no sé. At all chuco, at all delote. Pero si usted dice, I didn't study at all, se escucha más nativo. Edwin. Hey, yes, no tenía el micrófono activo, teacher, pero sorry. I just... Welcome to the mall and shopping. No, ¿cuál es la pronunciación? No. Porque si no estamos, tra estamos, eh, eh, estamos practicando de por gusto. Ok, no quiero que practiquemos en vano, sino que le saquemos provecho. ¿Cuál es la Shop. pronunciación? Shop. 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 Ok, and what's the pronunciation for walk? Walked. What? 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 Walked. 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 Uh -huh. Y el TV Watched. no va. No va te, TV. TV. Ok. Thank you. Vaya, mm -hmm. vamos a ver la respuesta. Excellent. Great. Great job. Vaya, si se fijan, solo aplican las reglas y ahí vamos. Now, let's continue. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using regular simple past verbs. And let's listen to the video, okay? You are going to see what we have studied. This is just a review because it's going to be like the same thing. There you go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when pronouncing simple past verbs. The ED ending of simple past verbs It's loading, está cargando. Espérenme, quiero ver si es que yo no tengo Wi-Fi o Internet. Ah, ¿cómo no? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when pronouncing simple past verbs. The ED ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t, worked, watched. These verbs end in d, cleaned, stayed. 
These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. In order to Okay, is it still Lauren? Voy a cerrar la aplicación de WhatsApp. Tal vez así carga más. Understand. When will have a T, D, or, or it sound? We need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. Mm. I'm going to put two fingers on. Yeah. Sí. Chicos, ¿me escuchan? Sí, tiene estrella. Sí, 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 sí. Sí, sí, se escucha, pero como que alguien tenía el, el micrófono encendido también. Sí, ya no es un micrófono. Bueno. Vaya. Déjeme revisar la conexión. My throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Watch, watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T, and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. The past as visited. Land has D sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and boys to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following these particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have boys sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. 
Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Ok, thank you. Si se fijan, lo mismo que hemos estudiado es lo mismo que van viendo en el video. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Ok. Now, I'm going to read the next, the next lesson objective. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using irregular verbs. That's very important. Now, we're going to move forward the irregular verbs because, because those are really important for us to learn as well. Now, let me go ahead and play the video one more time. And then you will be able to listen to some examples using the irregular verbs. Hi everyone, in this class you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these chart, you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense, and the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, Go, the past is went. Meet, the past is met. Come, the past is came. Have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First, we add the subject I. Then we include the verb in the past tense did. Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement. Laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. 
after you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. I'm sorry, questions so far? Um, after listening to the explanation, or is that so clear? Is that clear? Or do it's you have clear. some doubts? Okay. Now, uh, let's move forward. We're going to practice the irregular verbs, and we had a part one. This is the past of irregular verbs, okay? The past of irregular verbs. El número tres, ese es para utilizarlo con eh, oraciones como pasado perfecto, pero eso no lo hemos visto todavía. Sin embargo, Es importante que ustedes sepan cómo usar las tres formas de los verbos. ¿Por qué? Porque se va a llegar en un momento en que ya no van a estar en nivel, eh, en nivel 5, ¿están verdad? Tres. 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 Perdón. Tres. Ok, ya no van a estar en nivel 3, sino que van a pasar al siguiente nivel. Tienen que memorizárselo. Yo normalmente... Eh, insisto que se los memoricen de las tres formas ok the past to have is ha had and the past participle is had the past to say is said the past participle is said the past of do is did and the past participle is done don't the past of see is saw. The past participle is seen. The past of make is made. The past participle is made. The past of find is found. Okay, past participle found. No is no. new. The past participle is known. The past of get is got. Past participle, gotten. gotten. Past of go, went. Past participle, gone. gone. Past of write is wrote. Past participle got. is written. written. Past of think is thought. Past participle is thought. So the past of come is came. Past participle is come. Come. Mm -hmm. Now, let's practice. I want to, we're going to focus just on the part number one. Part number one. I want to listen to some volunteers. Okay. And let's see. Take. take. Uh, Griselda, take. number one, please. The past to have. Has, how, how. Have, had, had. Have. Jenny, next. Say, say, say. Say, said, said. Jose Alejandro. Amalia Do Did Don't Thank you Leticia um, She um, Seen She So Seen she, Liliana Make Made, 
made. Nelson. I found font. Marcos. Note. 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 No. No new none. Okay, I'm going, uh, let's see. I'm going to select Leticia. Uh, get go garden. Jenny. Go when go. Go. Perosly. Um, right, wrong, reading. Written. Gabriel. Think, so, so. Aquí le faltó la letra T al final. Thought. Okay. okay. Uh, Nelson. Um, come, come. Come, can, come. Okay. Bye. Nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. Le voy a dar un minuto. Preguntas. ¿Sabe qué? Está un poco difícil, teacher. Puede mandar las presentaciones que vimos hoy, teacher. Sí, correcto. Este, sí, como les mencionaba, el pasado simple, el pasado simple es eh, una de las estructuras más difíciles o una de las estructuras más difíciles en el inglés. Sin embargo, si ustedes se apegan a las reglas y la pronunciación, sí. se les va a hacer fácil. ¿Ok? Les voy a mandar sí. las imágenes para que practiquen, para que vamos practicando y apréndanselo de las tres formas. Ok. ¿Alguna sí, sí. otra pregunta que tengan? Eh, sí, teacher. Uh -huh. Al momento de usar el diren, ¿verdad que el verbo sería en su forma base? Sí, no cambia. Cuando usan el diren, allí no cambia. ¿Por qué? Porque el didn't es un auxiliar y el auxiliar modifica el verbo. Entonces okay. el verbo se mantiene en su okay. forma normal. No van a aplicar la okay. regla del eh, okay. IED ni de agregarle ED, nada de eso. Va a ir en su forma normal. All okay. right. Vaya, entonces nos quedamos hasta acá. Si no han cenado, buen provecho. Y espero que duerman bien. Tengan cuidado por si vuelve a temblar. No se asusten. Ya y salgan. Tembló estando en clase otra vez. ¿Va que sí? Sí, yo sí, tembló. Que... Acaba de temblar hace unos 7 minutos. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces nos quedamos hasta acá. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Good Goodbye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye-bye.